So this looks familiar. Well, aside from the fact that we don't have Siana with us this time. Because we know for a fact that she could die. If she didn't nice have place, the ribbon, she wouldn't it? die. Offers a lovely view of the valley. On a clear day, you can see the outlines of Duntine. So, um, you're angry that I didn't free Siana, yes angry indeed. With me for not freeing Siana, for not trying to resolve this peacefully. Hmm, a bit. Though, perhaps I was fooling myself, latching on to the notion because I badly wished to believe there was some way to fix everything. Yeah, because he ends up dead anyway. Too far. I must come to terms with that. Okay. So let the Unseen Elder know we've arrived. Regis, let the Unseen Elder know we've arrived. Have him summon Deadlaff. This might be interesting. Hinthial Chesu Themias. How is this gonna work? Is he just going to arrive the same way he did before? Because this looks different. Okay. That was interesting. So that flock of bats got the attention of every vampire. But I think this animation will still be the same then, probably. You didn't manage to find me, so you forced oh. a meeting. No, I didn't. Why? You know why. I've tired of guessing your human thoughts. So articulate them or leave me be. Um, stop the attack. We're gonna try to solve this peacefully again. Not that I think it will work, but uh, let's try it anyway. I understand your anger, but you need to stop the attacks in the city immediately. My conditions are clear. I wish to see Rello. I wish to see Siana. Yet she is not here. You know why. The Duchess would not release her. So the Duchess must face the consequences. Detlef, please. All this for one woman. You understand nothing. The dialogue is different. That states it as much. Oh. Oh, that's a. Must be done with this. That's a clear stance. Oh, yeah, okay. So now it's the same. But it's still awesome. So I'm just gonna let this run again. I'm not gonna show you the entire fight, just the cutscenes. Because you know how this fight goes. I'm wondering if I can actually do this in one go. This time. But we'll see. Won't we? And Regis is gonna hesitate again. Yeah. And there we go, Regis taken out temporarily, and now it's our turn. There we go, part one done, let him transform. 
into that lovely, lovely flying monster. And phase three. Elf go to wings. Still my first attempt right now. Ooh. Pushed him out of the way there. And there we go with the freaky stuff again. That love in a bloody sack. And there we go. Get down, that love. There we go. Ooh, taken care of. Let's fix up uh, Regis a bit, because uh, this guy is going to heal otherwise. Gone. I can't let I insist. So, I skipped forward a bit because everything else uh, stayed the same, but I think the conversation we have with uh, Sienna might change a bit since we haven't had the... I uh, want to talk to her plain and simple. She's suspected of planning the Duchess's assassination. The facts have come to light. Need them explained. Seems she was planning your Duchess's assassination. Ah, fine then. You're that witcher who solved the murders, no? So we didn't have the adventures in the land of a thousand minutes. fables, Promise so that would brief. weaken the relationship with her. And we want to try to get the uh, worst ending where she actually gets sent to prison, probably. So uh, let's see how Sienna reacts right now. Because this would only be the second time we actually talk to record. her. As long as it's truly but a moment. Highly irregular, this. Hello, Sienna. Hey, Welcome Sienna. Welcome back. Sorry to intrude, but I gotta ask you something. I've nothing to say to you. You're the one who put me in here. Have you forgotten? Sure, that's already different. you are here. So what's the harm in talking? Got something better to do? What do you want? Be brief. Um... Learn something interesting. Went to a place where Beauclair's beggars congregate. Found proof that you'd planned your sister's demise. Anna Henrietta. She was Deadloff's ultimate target from the start. Your target. Bravo, Witcher. I congratulate you on your deductive reasoning skills. But what I'd planned has nothing to do with you. Wrong. 
has everything to do with me. You were hired to kill the beast. Said beast is dead. So go collect your metal and leave me alone. Why must you meddle in everything? So as expected, she's a lot more aggressive this time around, so... Um... That laugh wasn't a beast, yes, Regis, kind of. He's always saying dead laugh was more animal-like, less human than him. Might have been so. Dead laugh acted on reflex, was driven by primordial instincts, whereas you're driven by cruelty, hatred, and a lust for vengeance. They hired me to kill the beast, true. Thing is, something tells me the real beast is you. It's a bit harsh since we know her backstory. Who I am or what drives me. That is true. So, uh. Hmm. Let me hear it then. Actually came hoping to learn something. It's clear you are out for vengeance. Against those who drove you from the palace. Curse of the Black Sun. That was their reason, right? It's certainly what they claimed. They said I was dangerous. A mutant. Knights. Crespi. Dulac, Delacroix, and Peyrac Peyron. They got the task of whisking me away, abandoning me outside the Duchy's borders. They were following orders. So they were, though they did so eagerly. Especially when I tried to flee. Crespi beat me unconscious with a whip. The others stood by and watched. Peyron found ample opportunity to take his frustrations out on me. While Dulac and Delacroix insulted me, mocked me. I swore then I would never forget. I would find them. Find them all. So, uh, yeah, now we understand, but it still doesn't mean that you're gonna get out of this in uh, this playthrough. We still got the happy ending. Uh, when we did it originally, so now I'm gonna actually force it towards a uh, worse and a worse ending. Mm. Explains a bit, a lot. You had a right to feel rage, resentment, but those motives aren't enough to justify the means you chose. I didn't expect you to understand. I need no sympathy, not from you, not from anyone. I regret nothing. I wonder if you can actually get the good ending this time. I'd not decide this time. At any juncture. They all deserve to be punished. My sister most of all. Enough. Your visit's done. Oh, there we go. Thank the stars. So let's get on with the ceremony. So now we're back with uh, Damien, and I'm gonna tell him Damien. what we found Geralt. out about, uh, about Siana. Ready for the ceremony? Yeah. So the fifth victim, I know who it's supposed, who it was supposed to be. Got some important information. Anna Henrietta was supposed to be Detlaf and Siana's fifth victim. You are certain of this? Completely. Found proof. Inconceivable. How could she? The murders, the mayhem she brought down on the city, were they not enough? She sought to strike down her own sister, her liege, traitor. I must alert my men, enlarge the Duchess's honor guard, make certain Sylvia Anna is closely watched during the questioning. I'll see to it personally. I thank Good you idea, probably. for alerting me, and I appreciate your attentiveness. Let's begin the ceremony. Come with me. The Duchess awaits. Yeah, let's get this over with. So, we're at uh, the ceremony right now, and now I'm gonna break the news to uh, Anna Henrietta as well. So, bad news, Siana was out to kill you. I am, and truly grateful, Your Grace. Sadly, I'm afraid I have to sour the mood. It's Siana. She plotted to have you killed, Duchess. Planned to use Dedloff. You were to be the beast's fifth victim. This cannot be true. You're mistaken. You must be. I have proof. So keep in mind, we uh, made this end really good last time, so uh, we're gonna keep that side of the story. But now let's see what happens if we tell Anna Henrietta. I do Henrietta. not believe it. Okay. 
She just plainly refuses the truth. Um, that's not a reaction I expected. In a moment I shall speak to Siana. Will you assist me? Uh, of course you we will. You my sister to me, yet what you tell me now I find devastating. I've come to doubt that I can judge her fairly. I'd far prefer to learn you're mistaken, Geralt. I'm not. In fact, I'd recommend you be particularly careful around her. You exaggerate, Witcher. She is my sister. I know well how to speak to her. I uh, hope you do. will help in any manner, of course I'll stay. Would we she actually be able to kill her? We shall a person implicated in the murders which recently ravaged our fair city of Beauclair. Captain de la Tour, show Sylvia Anna in. There we go. Let her be judged fairly this time. Because, yeah, she was responsible for a lot of murders that she uh, never got uh, punished for in uh, our original playthrough. And now I'm afraid she will be. The Witcher will take part in our talk. Free to do as I choose. You know what? She asked me to stay. The Duchess requested I be present. You have committed crimes. Grave crimes. Yet you are my sister. And my heart does not allow me to treat you as a common criminal. Nor does it let me believe you sought my demise. My heart yearns to know you were swayed by the monster Detlaf. You yourself would never stoop so low. Thus I have asked Geralt to advise me. As one impartial. I shall now hear what he has to say. So, uh, yeah, the good of the duchy, that's what matters most. <laughs> okay then, so Siana should be punished like any criminal. No matter the mitigating circumstances, whatever they may be, Siana is a criminal and should so be tried as such. So those were different options than and I had, because there was such. no positive option there. Is clear. Your words sadden me greatly, Witcher. But I cannot deny their logic. Siana. You shall be tried and given a fitting punishment. Yet we shall never cease to be family. As Duchess, I shall have to judge you. But as your sister, I shall never stop loving you. Is she gonna... Oh. Will you forgive me? I don't think she will this time. This might be interesting. I don't think we're gonna get a hug. Uh, what? I shall never forgive you. There we go. Wow. Okay, didn't expect that. Holy shit. Wow. So that was an entirely different story there. I actually have goosebumps right now. Didn't expect it to end that badly. Good riddance, we, uh, we solved that correctly in our original playthrough. Wow, and it's actually dark right now. Ooh, two weeks later. Looks like we're gonna have a different scene right now. Need some flowers, a wreath, or... I've none. Sold everything. I was just on my way out. No sense hanging about with nothing to do. Should come as no shock, sir. Had the funeral, folk took it all. Men, women, children, all wished to lay a bouquet on the Duchess's grave. Wind flowers, 
peonies, gladioli. But she liked common roses best. I know, her ladies in waiting would come here at times. I'd choose the loveliest blooms for her. Fragrant, big petals, the kind that last a long time. Ah, oh, I've still not come to terms with it. To be killed by her own sister. How could it happen? Because we kind of made some bad choices. Um, never thought Siana would be so unrelenting. No one suspected Siana would be merciless. Not Damien, not me. Least of all the Duchess. Oh, I know you. You're that witcher from the north. The one that saved us from the beast. Mm-hmm. Could say that. Wait here. What? Take these. Wait here, take these. Thought you okay. were out of flowers. I put a bouquet aside. I was to take it to her myself. But you have it. I know you held the Duchess dear. How much do I owe you? Not a copper. Keep your coin and raise a toast in her memory tonight. Do just that. Farewell. Thank you, my lady. So this is interesting. So the epilogue is woo, quite a bit different now. And a lovely statue of Anna Henrietta. So that actually changes a bit of the city then. Place a flower on Anna and Rieta's grave. Let's do that quickly. That is uh it's taints even a fairy tale that she like to song. Interesting. Oh shit! Okay. Um uh, didn't expect that. What the hell? So suddenly we're attacked by Gruxa. There we go. We were just attacked by a Bruxa next to the the statue over here. Um, okay, let's continue on. And with that interruption, we should enter the graveyard and place a flower on her grave. Used to be down there in the crypt. Witcher, I was certain you'd departed. I'm Good. sorry, Damien. Anna Henrietta was wondrous, beautiful, good, the best ruler one could hope to have. Yet I let her down. Don't blame yourself, yeah? Don't be so hard on yourself. No one expected Siana to do that, persist to the end. And none of us did anything to stop her, because there was nothing we could do. Uh, I suppose you are right. But when someone so beloved dies, one cannot help but search one's soul for blame. And even the hardiest knights grow faint-hearted then. Come to pay my respects. Bid the Duchess farewell. White roses. They were her favorite. Go inside then. She lies in the ducal crypt, in one room with her murderer, despite my protests. Oh, that is interesting. What? Who decided that? The Regent's Council. A pack of old men who've statutes and codices for hearts. Ducal blood flowed in Siana's veins, and she was never legally disinherited. So they ruled she should lie alongside Anarieta. Okay, then. That is an interesting way of putting things, but indeed she never was disinherited. The Ducal Crypt. Place flowers on both graves or place flower on flowers on Anna Henrietta's grave? Well... We know, we know the story about both of them. I don't think anybody would blame me for placing flowers on both of them. And all this. 
this? What did it bring you? Rest in peace. I regret it ended this way, that I failed to prevent it. Hope you can forgive me. Rest in peace. Hello, Regis. Stylish crypt, quite subdued. Yes, this is the kind of eternal resting place I dream of. Moments like this, I never know if you're joking or serious. <laughs> serious, Geralt, serious. It's remarkably peaceful, subtly charming to the hilt. A perfect match for the Duchess's dignity. Ah, oh, you humans, you'll never cease to amaze me. To feel despair in the face of natural processes to which you are predestined. That's an interesting way of putting it. Place, my friend. Dare say you deserve a speck of respite after the mad whirl of the last few days. Yes, indeed. So now I think we're gonna head into the Mandrake scene. And if that is the case, then I don't think we need to push this any further. All those deaths I failed to prevent. I feel pretty awful right about now. Can't help thinking I could have done more. Now Toussaint's left without a ruler. Or more accurately, chaos rules here. Hand in hand with despair. Duchess won over people's hearts. All Beauclair now weeps for her. A mass outburst of emotion. Well, it seems her subjects have adopted some of their recent ruler's traits. Why the sarcasm? Thought you liked Donna Henrietta. I did. And I do truly rue her passing. Me too. Then let us drink. So that's a really depressing ending, by the way. Um, thought you preferred complex solutions. Always seemed to me you were a very complicated creature by nature. Not one to resort to such simple methods like drinking your worries away. There exist worries for which they're quite simply. It's no other medicine. Okay, Sienna was unbending, indeed. Whatever you say about Sienna. In this Siana, case. You gotta admit, she was unbending. That she was. I do admit it. Though, in her case, it would have been better if she had been a tad more... Mm, philosophical. Pausing from time to time to reflect on the propriety of her actions. True. Look at them, How two old men personal talking. Not too strong. So there we go. Just right. That's the, uh, the, local of the, Al the original dialogue. For that. It might be wise to stockpile some roots for the future. Would you care to accompany me? Well, of course we will, but um, I'm not going to do that any longer. So uh, we're going to take a little break because, wow, that was a pretty, pretty heavy ending. Um, but next time we're going to be back in a universe where both Siana and Anna Henrietta are alive and well. And uh, living happily ever after. Uh, so, hope you guys enjoyed this little alternative route down the bad and, well, the worst ending. I think there's another ending where uh, Sienna actually dies. When you don't get the ribbon from the girl that sells flints. But uh, we're not going to revisit that again. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel. Because I really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again enormously for watching and I hope to see you in the next video or series. Goodbye.